everyone and welcome back to my channel so i've already filmed this once and there was no audio and then i've just had an absolute mare with my focus so i'm sorry if i'm blurry but um i've honestly given up to be honest with you also excuse what i look like i um literally just got out of the shower so yeah today we are going to be talking about uh the third episode of falcon of the winter soldier obviously spoilers don't watch this if you haven't seen the episode because i will spoil it for you and I have warned you. So overall, I genuinely loved the episode. Like, I literally have no negatives about it. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I literally felt like I was watching an MCU movie. It was so good. So the episode starts with, like, that weird commercial thing. I, I don't know what, like, I was like, okay, cool. Um, and then obviously Sam and Bucky go to see Zemo. Bucky helps him escape, obviously. I love the whole interaction bit where it was like Bucky telling Sam what they could do, even though that's what he'd just done. Um, and it was just really funny, but also really cool. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna be honest with you all. Um, I really like Simo. Like, very quickly climbing my top villains list. Um, he's so funny and I just, I don't know what it is about him, but I just, I just love him so much um, and he really adds to the chemistry of Sam and Bucky that was already great but this extra dynamic to it is so good and like seeing them bond over Marvin Gaye and that whole bit with the book I was just so it was like gold I loved it and Zemo's coat I like need like I need that coat <laughs> like I really just want the coat but I also like it's almost summer I don't need a coat but I want the coat I think the next bit in the episode was that bit with John Walker and Lamar where they go to the person that like gave food and shelter to Carly and the Flag Smashers or whatever um, and he spits in his face and John Walker's like do you know who I am? Both times I've watched this episode I've gone no I don't actually I don't know who you are um, I just it, he makes my blood boil and I know we're supposed to hate him so like like that's fine but like he makes me so angry. I'm just like, what? Why? Like the, <laughs> the madripoor, the whole bit was oh, so good. Obviously, we had Sam Mackey in that amazing suit. He looked really good. Um, and then we had like Bucky pretending to be the Winter Soldier. Bless him. I feel so bad for him. Um, but that whole scene where he beats up all these guys was so good and the Winter Soldier theme plays like underneath it and I didn't realise until the second time I watched the episode the first time it went straight up my head I clearly was too busy focusing on him like punching guys but <laughs> the second time I watched it I was like doing something at the same time and I was like oh my god that is the same Winter Soldier theme in the Winter Soldier it's like oh it's beautiful I love it then we have that bit with Selby and I was like, oh, Selby's gonna be important and then she dies. So clearly she wasn't important. That was wild, man. Like the phone call and then you think like, oh no, everything's going wrong and then she dies. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. Anyway, um, they run away, see Sharon. Something's up with Sharon. Like she's a bad bee, don't, don't get me wrong. Like she, I love her, but I just feel it's like something's wrong. Like. Even after Bucky had his pardon, don't you feel like she could come home? Like, because the guy that she was almost protecting has been pardoned, why can't she be pardoned as well? I don't, like, I feel like they would have let her off. Honestly, Zemo's dance moves was one of the best parts of the episode. I have never laughed so hard. <laughs> it was so funny. That whole shipping container bit with Sharon beating up all these bounty hunters, was amazing. I was like, oh, love her. Um, and then them talking to the doctor. I was like, the doctor's gonna be important, right? He's the one that made the serum. Zemo kills him. We're like, oh, not important then. Okay. But when Zemo kills him, I was like, oh, that's it. He's gone bad now. Like, he's gonna leave them. He's got what he wanted. But obviously, no, he stays and helps them. And I'm like, my guy, my guy. If you see him put the mask on, uh, he looks great. I just, I just love Zemo and I don't know why, like I don't know why I love him so much, but I just do. There was that callback to Civil War, it was like, you're not going to move your seat up, are you? And then Bucky's like, nope. And like, I already knew what his response was going to be before he even said it. I was like, I already know what you're going to say, you're going to say no. Um, and I love that little callback. There was so many good callbacks in this whole thing. Carly blowing up a car and like a building or whatever. 
just came out of nowhere. I was like, whoa, I didn't think you were into that sort of stuff. Okay. Um, mm, interesting. I feel like that might play a major part to something in the plot. I feel like she's switched, like something inside of her has like changed. And then at the end we have, I don't know what a character's name is, but a little appearance at the end that we weren't expecting. And I generally was like, whoa, okay, didn't expect to see you here. But this happened, um, and so I'm, I'm interested to see how that will play out, um, and how that will fit into the plot. There is like so many things coming left, right and centre, but they get solved so quickly that it really doesn't matter. So yeah, basically I feel so satisfied from that episode. We've got the whole Zemo thing going on, and we kind of know more about the serum. Um, but we've also got that cliffhanger at the end, which has generally made me so excited for the next episode again. And I'm really excited to see what what happens in the rest of the series. That like we've got three episodes left. That's like three hours. I genuinely feel like every week I get to watch a new MCU movie. It makes me so excited and so happy. I was thinking though earlier, we saw Batroc at the start of the first episode, like at the start, um, for on um, that first action sequence and now he's just disappeared and i'm i swear i've seen more set photos of him so i am convinced that he will be turning up again i don't know how i don't know why but he will i know he will because why would they go oh he's coming back for that one little sequence there like he must have a bigger role in something at least so I will say that. Yeah, but as I said, I generally really enjoy this episode and I've been enjoying the other episodes as well. Definitely classic MCU vibe and just, I finished the episode and like the episode just feels like it goes on forever, but in a good way. Like I'm like, oh, it will definitely end here. Like this is definitely the end of the episode. And I still have like 10 minutes left. I'm like, oh, okay then. We're carrying on, we keep, we keep on going. So thank you for watching this completely messy review of episode 3 of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I didn't write any notes if you couldn't tell. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. All my social media links, whatever, will be in the description per usual. And yeah, see you all in my next video.